Hey everyone, today we're going to have a look at some skylines. More specifically, we're going to have a look at a skyline from Mini GT. This is an R34, it's the GTR top secret, it's in a Bayside blue colour. And we're going to look at a skyline from Kaido House, which is also supported by and created in conjunction with Mini GT. Uh, this is an R33 uh, GTR as well, so there's going to be slight difference and obviously a big thing we're going to see is difference in the body kits. And actually in the back here, we've got a Hot Wheels Premium um, R34. This is from the Fast and Furious collection uh, that we can have a bit of a comparison to. I know the scale is completely out in that Hot Wheels Premium, um, so that's probably going to be the big difference we're going to see. But I think what we're most interested in having a look at today is the Mini GT Skyline versus the Kaido House Skyline. Now, there's quite a big difference in price um, for Mini GT you're sort of looking at around uh, depending where you are uh, 10 to 15 dollars the Kaido House model um, it's closer and upwards from that 15 dollar mark all the way through to 25 dollars and I know this particular model um, of R33 Skyline um, is you can see it on um, the aftermarket sales and it's going for upwards of $30 plus. So without any further ado, let's uh, check it out. Let's open these up and let's have a look. Let's start with the Mini GT Skyline R34. There we go, straight out of the box. Uh, this is cool. Wow, check this casting out. The detail is amazing. And very importantly, we've got some side mirrors on here. Uh, it's very important, I think, for all premium die casts to have side mirrors. Um, you can see the Hot Wheels doesn't have side mirrors. Uh, so this carbon um, fiber... Uh, on the bonnet here and on the on the boot and the rear wing that looks awesome that's a great little bit of extra detail um, they've got the fusion logo on the front of the bonnet you can have a good look at that um, and I like I love these rims actually the gold on black looks awesome that is a great car and it rolls nicely the playability is really good too so that feels awesome to play with I'll just have a more look at the detail here. Um, so you can see here that these headlights, they're uh, actually bits of perspex that have been put in. So they're actually inserted headlights rather than tampos, which um, you can see on the Hot Wheels, which is just a, a sticker, which is put in the headlights. And uh, you guys can decide and tell me which or what you think looks better to have the inserted perspex lights and even the indicator lights as well. Um, are inserted versus having tampos and that front grille just has some magnificent detail in there you got the GTR logo in the front let's have a closer look so you can see it just make sure we've got some light on it there you go that casting looks amazing so you get the side indicators we're coming around the side and then you get the rear tail lights that are also inserted red uh, perspex, so inserted tail lights. So that looks really stunning. And that carbon fiber finishing, that, that has just made this casting, that's so good. It, it just adds another level, the texture is there, just adds another level to it. And I, I'm loving this exhaust as well. Um, it, it's just incredible. That is fantastic, chrome exhaust gold rims and black rubber wheels and then the detail inside this car is also incredible that is a really cool casting that is awesome i'm very happy with this we just check out the underside okay so here you go you got the information um on the car says in this skyline gtr r34 um but then the, just the detail in there of the the exhaust system coming through like on the floor of the car uh, the drivetrains the axle i mean that that is incredible that is a really cool so looking car so i in terms of scoring it in terms of attention to detail 
I don't think you can get much more detail at um, 1 to 64 scale uh, than this. So I'm going to give it five, 5 out of 5 um, for that. That is great. And the, the playability, that let's see the wheels, how they spin. So they spin together on a combined axle. Yeah, you can see both of them spinning there if I tilt it up there. And then rolls, how does it roll? That's such an important factor when it comes to die-cast cars that you're not just going to be keeping on the shelf that you're actually going to play with and and spend some time with. So it's got good playability. Um, I'd probably give that a 4 out of 5. I know that, I mean, if you compare like the benchmark being a Hot Wheels... That is extremely smooth playability. So that would be five out of five for a Hot Wheels playability. And, because they, and those rubber wheels feel really nice and it just rolls very well along a, on a platform. But where the Hot Wheels gets let down is that attention to detail. Because you can actually see worlds apart the difference. Even the scale, if I hold both of them up, like we know that the Mini GT scale is actually true to scale. So this is true 164. Whereas this Skyline from Hot Wheels Premium is much larger. So it's actually probably a, a, a 1 to 54 scale. So in terms of accuracy of maintaining your collection and keeping it all at a consistent size, my opinion, the only way to go is to go down the lines of Mini GT, Tarmac Works, Inno 64 that actually have maintaining the scale of the model as a priority. And if you are not too worried about the scale, then yes, your options are Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels Premium, of course, even Matchbox or Miasto, which I mean, they, their scale is, is often their cars are a bit larger. But definitely, if true to scale is a consideration and I think it should be. It's the great thing about 164 scale cars is that they're actually made to scale and they, uh, they're they very portable. You can take them anywhere, put them in your pocket and you can play with them. They don't take up too much room so you can actually have quite a decent size collection. All right, so let's put the Mini GT up here next to the Hot Wheels Premium and let's take a look at the Kaido House. So as I said before, the Kaido House it's, it's going to be a bit different. They do actually model them off um, like, like real or proper street cars. So it's going to be interesting to check out this Kaido House R33 Skyline. Let's open it up. Okay, Kaido House, car culture for all scales. So yeah, as I said, this is a more premium casting, the price point is um, much higher. Uh, there we go, there's the Skyline logo, that looks great on the box there. Um, and like, uh, and it is from Mini GT as well, but it, it's styled by Kaido House, and that, that does set it apart, and we'll see the difference that we see in the, in the casting here. And also the scale may not be 100% accurate with Kaido House. Wow, look at that. I'll just pop that down. Those rims are amazing. And this is what you get with Carter House. Like you get stunning detail in these cars. Wow. Look at that. Look at those wheels. They're incredible. Let's take a closer look. Wow. That is just next level. So you've got logo written on the tire there. So it's this Nissan that's very hard to see. It's very small. It's incredible to maintain that detail at this size. We've got inserted uh, headlights as well, like we saw in the Mini GT. GTR logo on the front, as, as with the um, Mini GT. The... Side mirrors are, are rubber side mirrors, so there's a bit of flexibility there, so not too concerned about getting them damaged. But you do have to be careful with them so they don't come off. 
This model also has the carbon fiber, um, a bit of carbon fiber finishing on the bonnet there, as well as on the rear wing. But you can see right into this, and you can see the detail inside the car, which is also amazing. And coming around the back, obviously this is an R33 versus an R34, so there is going to be a difference in the car itself, and there's a different body kit on it. Um, but we've got great detail here with the Skyline logo, the Nissan badge, GTR badge. We've got the inserted red tail lights, which is just so iconic for uh, Skylines um, of this era. And then we've got that. That is a beautiful chrome. That is a, a proper chrome inserted um, exhaust pipe there rather than just painted, which is the, the comparison to Mini GT, I suppose. That is, it's more of a dull sort of painted chrome, but it's not actual chrome. So that's a big difference. And then we can just look at the backs there. Um, obviously these cars all have slightly different stylings uh, because they, you know, different, um, appeal to different people. And you, let's be honest, you can't buy the same car every single time because then it starts to get, the hobby starts to get a little bit boring. So that's why we need to have a bit different in terms of the body kits, the wheels. It's incredible. Now flipping over to the underside of this, you can see this iridescent metallic finish on the bottom of the Cardo house, which is, I suppose, a trademark from Cardo house that they do on all their cars. But what I actually haven't seen on any of the other Cardo house cars is actually the exhaust detail and the undercarriage detail that is actually present here. So that it just makes this casting even better. And then you can actually see here the, the wheels. Uh, there's a slight edge on the rim versus the tire. Uh, that just looks incredible. Now in terms of playability, I think this playability is phenomenal. And this car is so low and it actually rolls really well. There's a slight little bit of a squeal as it rolls, a bit of noise, but I think that's down to the rim actually, maybe even edging on the ground just due to the stance of the car. Yeah, so that noise is a bit of a, a whistle that you can hear. But otherwise that playability is really good. And actually, in terms of how it rolls, that would be in comparison to the Hot Wheels Premium. Maybe just, maybe it's a little bit stiffer, but that could also be down to the wheels itself. So, but that noise is a little bit squeaky. So maybe I give playability here four, maybe four and a half. Um, but I'm actually surprised how good the playability is of this. But the, definitely the attention to detail is amazing. So that would, I'd definitely give that a five. I mean, you're not going to really be able to get much closer than this. Now, these, this, the other thing about Kaido House models is that they have moving parts, which is a nice little feature. So this has an opening bonnet, and we can see in there in that engine detail and if you look at that, that is amazing. Wow, there's a support bar across the top. The main part of the engine's painted red as well. That detail, there is so much detail in this here. You could just look at this for ages. There are nice tampos on there. It even looks like engine instructions too. That I haven't seen an engine, and even in the other car house models that I've had and looked at and reviewed, I haven't seen as much engine detail into this. So I guess that is what you're paying for. You're paying for the excellent attention to detail, the added detail, the moving parts, which are really cool. That's really nice to have. I mean, good playability as well. That comes down to a lot in what the price difference is between these, these castings. But... I mean, the, the scale is a little bit off and I can tell like straight away because I actually know the R34 is true to scale. Um, actually, it's, if it's off, it's not off by much because um, that is quite, quite similar length. 
That could actually just be the body kit. That could. But it's certainly a lot wider. And if you can see, that matches like the, the width of the Hot Wheels Premium. Yeah, the Hot Wheels Premium is further off scale. It's a bit, it's a little bit longer. But yeah, so overall, attention to detail of this is probably five and a half out of five or six out of five. Like, I mean, that this casting is complete froth factor. And if you're a customizer, you don't need to do anything to this. You wouldn't touch this car. I consider that to be a perfect casting. So let's line two up again and side by side comparison so you can see them a bit more. Again, I think excellent, great for the collection. Um, both of these castings look amazing. Uh, and I do say that like, without a doubt, like this really shows what your difference is between Hot Wheels Premium and Mini GT. And at the price point, $10 to $15, also the Hot Wheels Premium's $10 to $15, whereas $15 to upwards of $25. I think your money is well spent on the Mini GT and also even on the, the Kaido house. Um, and they do make fewer of them, so they are harder to come by and a bit more rare. So that would actually make it a bit more appealing. Okay, guys, we'll leave the video there. Thanks for watching. Uh, this has been awesome. Let us know what you think about these skylines. Which is your favorite? Which one would you go for? And we'll see you in the comments.